What is up, Pisces? How are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you guys want a personal reading, info will be in the description box below. This is a medicine woman slash shaman's oracle reading for you guys to try to get to the root of your problem today <clears throat> and give you the best medicine to solve it. If you want a more detailed description about these decks and about the um, spread that I devised here that we're using today, go check out the reading I posted this morning for the collective at 1111 this morning and hit your notification bells to join us for that message every morning at 1111. I will be doing those continuing through December. Um, so let's get to what's going on with you guys, Pisces. We're going to start with the middle of everything. These are all the major arcana from the Medicine Woman Tarot. Um, the major arcana, the major, you know, lessons that we need to learn here. I'm picking one card to see what's going on with you guys. Holy crap, you guys got the tower. I've not seen that bust out for anybody yet. Wow. <clears throat> all right, tower energy as a reader. Um, not everyone does this, but I associate tower energy with Scorpio. I do. Um, Scorpio season, death, rebirth. Scorpios are chaotic as hell. They love tower moments. They thrive on them. They live their life, you know, going through them. They welcome them. There's that lightning bolt, all right? And you got a big ace of pentacles is what it looks like here. This looks very much like American currency. You see the bald eagle on there, all right? Um, I feel like whatever this tower, it says pierced shield is the name of this card. Something pierced your armor, something got through, something broke the defenses, something that you were trying to prevent against, you know, it's a, it's a breach is what I feel here. There's a turtle in the middle of this, there's a lotus flower, there's fires, there's an eagle, and there's a phoenix. Scorpio energy, all right, is what I'm feeling at the center of all of this. Rapid transformation, a bunch of uncomfortable change, things that you didn't want to happen, things that you were trying to block yourself off, defend yourself from, they got in, they infiltrated there's um this has slowly been creeping up whatever this was it's meant to transform you though um scorpions scorpio energy they start off <clears throat> if you read the legend of scorpio they start off as the scorpion that's their lowest form that is the you know treacherous one that's the lowest to the earth that has the stinger that will get you in their medium form they're like an eagle i believe it is and then they turn into a phoenix it, you know, illustrates all of those things on here. Do you see the eagle, the phoenix, the turtle is like low to the ground like the scorpion is. This is a slow process, all right? It's meant to, you know, drop you down a peg. It's meant to start you over. I just got like Monopoly, do not pass go, do not collect $200. You got to go back to the drawing board with whatever this is. Whatever this was, you know, you were trying to defend this too hard. It was meant to be breached. It was meant to be torn down. It's meant to transform you. You were in turtle energy where you were too stuck. You were sitting too far, um, too much in your shell. You were moving at too slow of a pace. This is meant to speed you up. This is a rapid transformation, though. It is a good one, I feel. Let's see what's in the past here. What created this tower moment? This is the cup energy. It's in from the West, all right? This is what's in the past. This is the emotional baggage that we're hanging on to with the situation. What caused this tower? The Apprentice of the Bulls, the Page of Cups. You are still learning, all right? You were still learning. Whatever this was, all right, emotional situation. Pages are messengers. The Page of Cups is an emotional messenger. Also, it's, a, I kind of pick it up. I, I feel it, so I'm going to say it. Baby energy. The Page of Cups is a baby. The Tower moment is a baby. Some of y'all were, you know, blessed with new life or a new relationship or a new commitment. Whatever this was, was a huge shakeup. It was a shock. It was not something that you expected to get in or to get away from you. Either or, this was some kind of an emotional, heavily emotional conversation. Somebody let something out. Somebody's feeling the need to be comforted. It took a lot for somebody. Also, some a lot of you intuitively know this is like for somebody else in your life, this reading. You know that somebody else is going through a tower moment. In the middle of everything, you know that somebody's life is crumbling. Do you see this mother who she has a psychic link here with her child? The Page of Cups is a child. There's a mother that is in tune, all right, that knows her child is suffering, that knows something that, like, this kid is trying to pour his heart out into this bowl. His mother's strength is giving him the strength to do that. A lot of y'all, you know, <clears throat> somebody needs you to lean on, like, they need you to lean on. Also, a lot of y'all saw this tower come in. You did. You saw it come in. You, I feel like you saw somebody heading for disaster and you tried to prevent it is what this was. You did all you could do here. I need to tell you that, all right? You're, you gave this person all the wisdom that they needed to make the right decision here. I feel like you're upset that the right decision was not made. Again, I pick up the same energy I was getting here. I want to say from the Sag reading, possibly. 
that there were two different levels of emotionality here. Like one person was a page and one was a queen. There was still a lot of, you know, learning that needed to be done here, though. Whoever this was, they weren't emotionally mature, mature enough to deal with whatever this tower moment was, which is why we ended up in a tower moment. Whatever the energy is here, the problem that you're seeking advice on today, um, whoever you were dealing with or whoever caused this, uh, the reason it crashed and burned is straight up emotional immaturity. Somebody wasn't ready for it yet. <clears throat> Somebody was keeping their emotions to themselves as well. This, you know, kid's got his eyes closed. He's pouring what's in his heart. It's the moon in the center, which is confusing emotions. There's a lot of emotional, you know, confusion going on inside whoever this was. I feel like they kept it to themselves and that's creating this tower. What's the energy from the north that we need to be aware of, that we need to see, that we need to, you know, put into view right now, bring it into focus? The Apprentice of Stones, all right? Now you've got the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> Y'all, I'm going to be real honest. I don't know if these are pages or aces, but either one, either one of those is the start off of something. The page is having the conversation about what we do with this ace that's been given to us. This is my first time using these decks and I don't have my little guide in front of me. So I'm just intuitively telling you what I feel like. I feel like these look like aces and they also, you know, look like pages to me. An apprentice is a page, but these look very much like aces. And now you have two aces. You do have a new start here. And on your mind is, you know, ace of pentacles, page of pentacles. How do we actually make this work? This was a highly emotional situation. This rocked you to your core. Um, a lot of you, there's an, I've, I just feel a lot of you've had a new family member or child or just whatever the situation is come into your life and you don't know how to make it work. You accepted whatever this was because there was a lot of emotion tied to it. And right now all you're thinking about is how do I, you know, start this off and make it successful or how do I make sure that this, you know, stands on firm ground? How do I, you know, get out of the high emotional drama from the past and, you know, bring this back down to reality? You guys don't know how to do that. You're trying to figure out how to make something out of whatever this was, how to grow something. She looks very much like the Empress there. <clears throat> I get Wheel of Fortune energy with this. The Tower is always a faded event. It's always brought about by the Wheel of Fortune to shake you up. In the Hoodoo Tarot that I use, you know, frequently on my channel, the Wheel of Fortune card is represented by Aunt Caroline. And the whole, you know, deal behind her history is that she makes something out of nothing Whenever you're handed the shittiest of circumstances, there's always a way up, you know? The only way out is through. That's what this energy is. You were handed a crazy, highly emotionally volatile situation, and now you're just trying to figure out how to make sense of it. You do need to see this as a new start, though. This is You need to see it as a fresh start. You need to see it as a what they're focusing on here, what they want you to think about in the real world, that you need to see this as a blessing in disguise, that there is something that can come out of this. It's not all a loss. It's not all a wash. All right, what's the energy coming up for the near future? The wand energy. This is what propels you forward. It's the spark that gets you moving. It's something that gets you excited to go forward. You got the six of wands. I feel like I got this for Aries in the same position there. Six of wands is a victory. The six of wands is about, you know, being celebrated, being recognized, somebody noticing you, somebody paying attention. It's also about, you know, being appreciated for who you actually are at your true core. It's not having to fake anything. It's not having to prove yourself. It's not having to, you know, gain any or convince anybody of your worth and your value. That's what you have to do with this. All right. You are the star of whatever this is. You do have a way to make this successful. I was just saying that you need to find a way to, you know, make something out of nothing here. The six of wands is a win. What you have to realize, you know, that this is a winning situation, even if it doesn't feel like one. This is causing you to be more in your own energy. It's bringing you back to a position of, you know, figuring out who you really are. And it's going to, you know, you're going to rise above whatever this is and overcome whatever this tower is. You're getting the victory. And not only that, but people are going to notice this time. People are going to see the effort that you put in. They're going to see you for who you really are. And they're going to celebrate that. And I also told, you know, Aries with that energy, when you do get finally seen for who you really are and valued for who you really are, things start coming to you. These skittish little deers and forest creatures, you know, things that were very elusive that the hunter would have to hunt down, walk right up to you like nothing. I feel like you had to chase whatever this is. There was too much teaching that had to be done here. Um, you're going to be attracting instead of chasing coming up is what I feel with that. All right, let's take a look at the swords energy. This is what's in the subconscious, what's in the south, what's dragging us down, like the mental process, what might be holding us back. 
you know, our minds are our own worst enemy sometimes. So let's see what the thinking pattern is here that might be screwing with this situation. The Ten of Swords. Something ended, all right? Look at the family too. I get a big family vibe with this one. I felt like a new person entering a family or somebody leaving a family, something like that. It's a shakeup to a whole family, whatever this was. Look at the family. They're sitting down talking it out though, all right? What you're not thinking about, the energy that you don't want to be in, is that there's something that ended. The Ten of Swords in the regular tarot, it's always a very painful ending. It always is a person impaled with Ten Swords, like bleeding out on the ground, like left for dead. This is not that, all right? This ending is not painful. These people are sad, but they're all sitting around at the table. Well, you know, Grandpa's spirit is ascending into heaven. Yes, it's a sad moment, but we're not alone. We're not just bleeding out on the ground. A lot of y'all feel like you can't lean on other people or you can't discuss whatever this tower moment was. A lot of you feel like you won't have any support or that there's nobody there for you. That's not true. All right. You need to see this ending for the, you know, grace and the beauty in it. The beauty and the breakdown. Somebody was released into heaven here. All right. That's a beautiful thing. Somebody's returning home there. You know, there's an ending of a cycle. It's, you know, Scorpio season just came. Things were dying. Things ending. That happens. You guys are, are, are feeling like there's, there's no way to bring this back together or no way to heal this family or no way to, you know, make yourself whole or find your tribe. You feel like you've lost something that is a part of you that you cannot get back, all right? And you don't want to think about the fact that there are other people that will help you through this grief. A lot of you are, sure, are shouldering this burden alone. You are a Pisces. You are very private people. You don't like to put all your business out there. But there's a need for you to lean on others, all right? There's other people that are going through the same thing as you. And you need to know that. And those people are here for you to see you through whatever this grief is from this tower moment. All right, let's pull your shaman oracle to see what the medicine is and what they're trying to tell you here. You guys got the buffalo. That's beautiful. I don't know what it means. I've not ever seen this deck until today. But I know that the buffalo in native culture is sacred. It can provide for a family forever that it's so useful. They use every single part of this buffalo. There's nothing more, you know, happy and joyous to bring home to your family than a whole ass buffalo. And you guys got this, all right? It does give me big fire energy here too. Swirl on there, that, you know, that infinity, infinity symbol. It's like the abundant universe is going to provide for you. You're going to end up getting what it is that you need. You're not going to be left, you know, without... Also, that buffalo is moving forward. Let me read to you what the book says. It says, um, the, a buffalo in all its powerful presence stands in the prairie. Behind it, a spiral which symbolizes the eternal cycle of life and nature. The buffalo is safety and protection, strength and an urge for freedom to roam about without limits. For the native two-legged, the buffalo nurtured them, gave them food and fur, and their bones served as tools and flutes. Buffalo were the foundation of life and freedom for the so-called Plains Indians, the nations of the wide open prairie. The power of the buffalo is obvious. Its urge for freedom let him crisscross the great plains of times long lost. The message here, it says, start your day with a mental and conscious slow repetition of I am for two or three or five minutes. Carry today within yourself the awareness of this, I am. Does that sound too easy? This little practice will embed and ground within you some of the sense of safety, the experience of strength, and the feeling of freedom of the buffalo. Try this for three days at a time. You have to be present in the moment is what I get with that. I am simply means you are, and you are enough, all right? You are enough. Whatever this tower was, it's not going to wipe you out. It's not going to, you know, end whatever it is that you have going for yourself. It's talking about, you know, trying to find some peace amid the chaos here, you know, realizing that things keep going, that things, you know, will continue you're feeling unsafe, all right? A tower moment, you feel very unsafe. You feel very unprotected. It's talking about you to, you know, basically calm yourself in the eye of the storm. I feel like the wheel of fortune is like spinning out of control for you guys right now. And that's a very uncomfortable place to be in. I saw some other reader one day talking about, you can't control the wheel of fortune, but what you can do is instead of standing on the outer part of the wheel and getting flung around unmercilessly, you know, if you walk towards the center, you're grounded, all right? You can get back to center, when you center yourself in the middle of the wheel, it doesn't feel so chaotic. You got to like ride out whatever this tower is, like go into the eye of the storm and sit there, sit in peace with it, whatever's going on and accept it for what it is. Realize that you have enough and that you will be okay. <clears throat> um, in, re in respect to relationship context, what the book has to say about this, it says that buffaloes are seldom alone. 
They know how important the protection of a big family of friends or a circle of like-minded people is. They are mostly social beings who know how to appreciate the community with others. Open up for camaraderie, for companionship and community life now and appreciate that you are a member of a strong family or circle of friends. That's that Ten of Swords down here. You guys feel very alone, like you're going through this tower by yourself. You're scared to tell people what kind of a shit show you got yourself into, some of you. You need to know that there are people there to talk to you. You are never alone. Even if your family is shit and you don't get along with them, there's other people that you can turn to. There are online chat groups for fuck's sake. There are free counselors, anybody, all right? You guys are feeling very um, shook up right now. You need to not be alone at this time, all right? I feel like a downward spiral. That spiral right there, this could spiral out of control if you don't start, you know, opening up and letting people know what's going on with you. It says the best medicine here. It says in the medicine wheel, the buffalo often stands for the place of wisdom, continuous renewal, and knowledge and experience personally gained. A German proverb says, what you have inherited from your elders, you must make that into your own achievement to really keep and preserve it. Only your personal life practice counts for self-realization. No empty words. Walk it like you talk it. Would your ancestors be okay with you sitting around and whatever this energy is of just letting this stuff happen to you? Would they be okay with you, you know, feeling sad or not telling anyone what's going on or not, you know, depending on the people that you know you can depend on? If you were taught better, you should do better is what this is. Like some of y'all, your, you know, Nana wants to like smack you and be like, get the fuck up. You got so much to be grateful for. Like, why are you crying about this spilled milk? Don't do that. All right. The universe will provide for you. The abundant universe will provide as long as you are staying in line and doing what it is that you need to be doing and taking the lessons that they give you and learning something from it. All right, Pisces. That's what I got for you guys. That was a heavy one. All right, Pisces. I love y'all. I'll catch you next time. Bye.